My name is uh, Rahul Devan. I've been uh, running a company called Srijan. I founded it in 2002, so completed. I'm just over 22 years now. 20 years now. Yeah, and uh, we got acquired by an American company called Material Plus, based out of headquartered in LA, uh, in September last year. So uh, we've been uh, in the open source space since 2003. I first bumped into a product, an open source product called PostNuke, which was a CMS based on PHP. And I was amazed that people write all of this code. I, well, before that, so for about four, five, or six years before that, uh, I basically was working for an American company, then a Danish company, and all my work had been in building content management systems, all hand coded. We used to work in ASP, later Java, and so on and so forth, JSPs, as that, that time, uh, you know, it was. Um, so, and then once I started consulting, slowly I started getting clients, and I would write websites, all in ASP, or in Java, and all. And uh, then, eventually adopted PHP, then I bumped into, in 2003, like I said, into PostNuke. And I was amazed that people write all of this code, wonderful code for building websites rapidly and give it out for free. I mean, I was amazed, right? India is, um, we gave the world the modern numerals, not only the zero as, as it's very popular, but we actually gave the numerals, we gave trigonometry, algeb algebra, it's called algebra because it was used by the Arabs who were interpreting it for the Europeans. So, we've been knowledge creators and we didn't have patents on knowledge, right? We were sharing it, whoever was willing to take it from us. And so open source and this whole idea of sharing knowledge came very easily to me. It was like natural that this is how things need to be. So, uh, we started working on PostNuke, then Typo3 happened, very popular content management system in okay. Europe, Northern Europe. And then we built our business quite a bit on that. Then in 2007, Drupal happened and um, a new journey sort of started with Drupal. By 2011, we took a decision that we're only going to work on Drupal. And then also alongside that, we took a decision to work only on agile contracts and do agile projects, which had a little bit like a tonality of doing TNM projects and not do, basically not do fixed cost projects because it was only companies like us who burn, customers don't pay for the tail of the project and it's always almost impossible to uh, estimate six month long or more projects accurately, right? So I was burning and so we took this decision, we'll focus on Drupal and we'll focus on agile software, agile methodologies and uh, contracting comes along with that. These two decisions helped us scale big time and we grew from, I don't know, my guess is 50, 60 people back in 2011, 12 to about 600 people by the time we sold uh, Srijan. So, so between 2011, 12 to about 2022, we grew about 10 times in number of people and probably much more in terms of our revenue. So Drupal, you know, by the time we sold, Drupal was still about 70% of our business. It still is. Uh, I mean, just as rigid, not as part of the larger company. Um, and so it's basically open source and Drupal has made us, it has helped build Srijan, it has helped me get an exit personally. So it's everything for me and there's a very, very deep gratitude I have for Drupal. I was just being interviewed by, for the Drupal Association, I'm on the Drupal board now, global board, and uh, for the last two years actually. And um, I mean, I was basically saying the same thing that I have nothing but gratitude for this community, for Drupal, and this, this has helped build our company and who I am as an individual. And I have always maintained to give back 
to you know whatever has helped build us so we do a lot of contributions uh, i give back to the community to drupal to the drupal association in many other ways uh, you know in non code contributions as well so